Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So, I've got the transformer in the cabinet. So I'm going to go over what I did here. It's, gonna, it's kind of a complicated uh, explanation. It's basically six plywood, okay? Start off with a piece of six plywood and then the bottom material. I ended up drilling a pilot in each one of the surrounding screws, you know, for the outer panels. Uh, just down maybe a few, a couple sixteenths. Then I ended up using a slightly larger bit, the si slightly bigger than the head of the screw, each 632 screw. So the screw head would be countersunk into the wood around the whole perimeter. That's the first thing I did. And then I drilled through the wood in the back so I can install the panel and get the screw in with the wood here. Drilled four holes for the carriage bolts. So these four carriage bolts come through the wood. The first piece right here, up. Washer, split washer, nut, 5 16 and then I have uh, four carriage bolts, actually three more, one here, one there, one over there. Same thing through the first piece. So then I, you know, had these, uh, these two pieces sandwiched together, this piece, this piece. No transformer in it, obviously. And flipped it upside down. Then I married another piece of six-ply wood to the first one, okay? Carriage bolt, carriage bolt, and another carriage bolt. So those go through all of it, top and then through the bottom, okay? Then I added casters. So you have two swivel in the front with rubber wheels and then two stationary ones in the back and they have the stops on them. And these are secured by inch and a half lag bolts with a washer okay so he's able to if he has to remove those they're rated for 275 pounds each and that's about it so had no lifting ears so I had to manhandle it up in here and uh, now I can install the back panel. A leaf on here. Cardboard, actually. And uh, then I can get back on it. So that was the hardest part of this. So I got 12 ply. I made another one with a 320 pound transformer and had one piece of six ply. This will never break. That's solid as a rock. Um, another reason why I like to use wood is. So when I go to mount all the components, just drill the holes and go right through the metal, right into the wood. And, um, you know, it's good to go, you know. So that's that for now. I got the locks on right here in the front. Let me, let me disengage them. They go uh, like that. And it rolls around nice and easy. Easy peasy. Okay, so thanks for watching. The website is amprepairguy.com. I had marked it with markers so I knew where to drill the holes and everything. They lined right up. <laughs> That's why you measure everything three or four times. So, so it's good to go. So thanks for watching. Amprepairguy.com 203. 892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Take care.